Hey YouTube, today we're going to answer your most pressing questions. <laughs> God, okay. What's up, YouTube? Oh my God, okay. Mac and cheese. Cheese and Mac. You gotta admit, mac and cheese is America's greatest invention since capitalism. I am an uncultured brown person, and all I've had my entire life is rice. I've never even seen cheese. Today, join me as I try mac and cheese for the first time at three drastically different price points to determine which mac and cheese is the most worth it at its given price point. Are you ready, YouTube fam? Bring on the cheese. Oh my god. First off, the table's kind of just moved closer towards me. Second of all, we've been macked. Contestant number one is a Kraft macaroni and cheese dinner, original flavor. It claims that it's the taste, the tasty you love. So, uh, oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> it claims that it's the taste I love. So if I don't love it, that means that I can sue Kraft for uh, adultery. First impressions, it's it's kind of a congealed mass. It smells almost like nothing. The eye feel, it's so orange it reminds me of oranges. Let's not delay it any further. My very first bite of macaroni and cheese. So mouth feel, <laughs> as soon as it hits your tongue, it kind of just becomes one shape. It was all just one texture, one taste. Kind of just like mildly salty. It tastes like what I guess kids want cheese to taste like. I wouldn't know because I've never had cheese before. It's, it's just very squishy. Moving on. <laughs> Contestant number two is a lean cuisine. Favorites. Macaroni and cheese. Tender macaroni and a creamy cheddar cheese sauce. This one claims it's freshly made, simply frozen. <laughs> In contrast to, I think McDonald's Catchphrase was this uh, never frozen better ingredients, Papa John's. <laughs> Let's open it up. This is how I got it from the freezer. And it's fully cooked. Oh my God. It's so, it was so nice of them to cook it for me. So first impressions, it's almost red compared to our first boy. They have the same property of congealing. These are like like skinny worms, and these are like thick, thick, thick. <laughs> the Q U E, the quid. <laughs> Smells even more like nothing than the first did. Um, nose feel zero. Uh, I feel um, it doesn't match the cover. <laughs> let's 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 get to it. Um, It obviously it tastes better than the first one because it's the middle one, you know? But it also doesn't taste like anything. For something that's so colorful, I'd expect it to taste a lot stronger, but it doesn't. Number three. Number three is the one I'm the most excited about. I had to get on a wait list. I had to wait about three years to acquire this, this mac and cheese. This is the evil, evil? Evil truffle parmesan mac and cheese. Nothing artificial. That's because Gordon Ramsay himself handcrafted every single box with the wheat that he grew on his own farm. He took the wheat and ground it between his fingertips and then he turned that into the flour. And then he turned that flour, that blessed flour, into these noodles. And then he went out to his barn and he milked his own cow and he made this Parmesan cheese. This has Gordon Ramsay's blood, sweat, and tears. And I'm so very excited to try this. They say that when you taste it, you can, you can hear the cow mooing in the distance. And suddenly you're in Kansas. This is how I, I, I got it from the fridge. Somehow it was already opened. And I think just like the previous ones, it's also been cooked. Isn't that amazing? Gordon Ramsay microwaved this personally for me. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so hot. She looks just like the picture. She's beautiful. I can't. Ever since, ever since my third grade science teacher passed away, it's just been so hard. I haven't, I haven't found any purpose in my life. But then I got this email 
from evil.edu. <laughs> and I open it, and the words say, Congratulations, you have been selected. You, Salsa, of Mild Salsa from YouTube.com, have been selected to receive a free box of Weave Ultra Motion Pikachu. And I knew, I knew she was looking down upon me. It has the same kind of congealy consistency, but I'm, I'm sure that's because Gordon Ramsay was trying to evoke this theme of togetherness. This pasta is meant to bring people together, and bringing people together it is. Nose feel? It smells very strong. It wouldn't be the top contender without truffle. Um, there's also gold, but it's not written in here. Um, you just, you can't see it very well, but if you hold it at the, the right angle, it almost sparkles. Okay, let's get to it, guys. This will be my fourth ever bite of mac and cheese, and it's from the greatest mac and cheese that one could possibly buy. Let's go. Can I hold your hand? It's pretty good. That's it for today's episodes of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Um, thank you for joining me on my journey of trying mac and cheese out for the first time. Our first contender, a, a humble little boy, crafts macaroni and cheese dinner, original flavor. Second, with a stunning display of color and lack of aroma, lean cuisine. Favorites, macaroni and cheese. Second, I mean third, Evil's truffle parmesan mac and cheese crafted by Gordon Ramsay himself. Each one of these mac and cheeses held their own tonight, presented me with a wide array of tastes, sounds, smells, sight. I was transported from the east to the west, then back to the east, and then back to the west. But when it comes down to the verdict, who is on the chopping block tonight? Wait, that just, that means, who got past all the chopping blocks tonight? And the answer, is craft mac and cheese it's pretty good